G'day and welcome to World Class. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the World Force multifunction MIG machine so that you can get set up and welding with gas with solid steel wire. So first, you will need to hook up the gas line. Place the hose clamp over the provided hose. Insert the hose onto the barb on the rear of the machine. Using a screwdriver, tighten the hose clamp until firmly secure. The other end will plug into the provided regulator. Plug the power cord into a standard 10 amp outlet. Turn the switch on the back of the machine to the on position. You'll need to make sure the machine is set on MIG mode by using the three-way switch on the front panel. Insert the MIG welding torch into the connection on the front of the welding machine. Plug the earth lead into the negative terminal and the polarity cable into the positive. Ensure that the roller assembly is set up with a V-groove roller for solid steel applications. The number indicated on the side of the roller should correspond with the wire size used. Remove the spool hub screw on cap and place the spool of wire onto the hub, ensuring the spool holes align with the spool hub locator. Release the top roller assembly. Being careful not to let the wire slip, Feed the wire through the first guide tube, over the roller, and then into the second guide tube. Lock the roller assembly in place and tighten with medium tension. Remove the gas shielding nozzle and contact tip from the front of the MIG torch, and hold the trigger down to start the wire feeding through the torch. Screw the tip back in place, then insert the shield nozzle back in place. Trim the wire back, and you're ready to weld. If you need any further information about setup or application, hey, give us a call.